When you're in a well-designed landscape, everything sort of clicks and you can understand that space with all of your senses. Because we move with such distraction and such speed through our world, so I think good landscape architecture slows you down, reconnects you to the place that you're in, in the best sense. In grad school, I remember that was one of the first questions I started to grapple with. And the way I've come to conceptualize it is the design and the shaping of outdoor space. And for me, it's really that simple. Everything that happens outside of the building, from the sky to the bedrock, thinking about how we can integrate the comfort and safety and welfare and delight for humans and also incorporate the needs of the non-human world, the ecological world. And landscape architects bring to bear creativity, technical knowledge. They help plan land use, the use of resources to make their communities more sustainable and resilient. Landscape architects are kind of like the ninjas of the environment <laughs> because we are trying to make everything work together. It's not a static medium, so we deal with plants, we deal with the climate, we deal with people. Trying to find ways to kind of weave all of these different living and moving elements together into spaces people want to occupy. And that's beautiful because you are connected into everything at once. On a daily basis, we're faced with incredible challenges, be it climate change or environmental degradation. And landscape architecture has the ability to bring a lot of folks together and it teaches us to collaborate better. It teaches us to speak a common language and create places that not only connect us to our own environment, but connect us with each other. A lot of the people who enter landscape architecture have a true love of some place, but I think that there are people who care about the climate and ecology and about connecting with the world and the cosmos. Getting out, meeting people, asking how I can improve their lives was something I can continually show up for day after day. I think landscape architecture is an incredibly multifaceted career. People end up doing all kinds of things. It's not just one outcome. You can be involved in the ecology of it, you can be involved in the culture of it, you can be involved in building, you can be involved in designing and drawing. There are so many ways in which this gets manifested in the world. The track record, the success of graduates, the diversity of what the graduates were doing and types of graduates that were coming in was also really important. The affordability of UNM's program was huge. There's an incredible sense of warmth and just a real humanity to how we're approached as students. One of the most beautiful experiences here was having classmates that came from different parts of the world. I have been at a lot of different schools that claim to have a diverse student body, and it didn't really feel that way. Here at UNM, it's undeniable. I am an international, I am from Mexico, but I'm also LGBTQ, and the community here welcomed who I am, supported my ideas. That made me build a lot of confidence. I think of this professional mind that is the result of the education that we offer as being akin to a superpower. It's preparing them to be, I'll say, design warriors. We have won close to 20 national and international design competitions since 2009, which is amazing. We're also the only department in the nation that has an indigenous design studio. The indigenous populations here have been living here continuously since pre-conquest times. It affects the way people think about resources, it affects the way people think about sovereignty, it affects the way people think about the movement of species across landscapes. And layering over that culture, we have these incredible cultures that have shown up over time that have come to coexist together. New Mexico, known as the land of enchantment, is really defined by three sublime forces, the cultural, the technological, and the environmental. And this tension poses a question about what it means to live and to design in this unique high desert landscape. I love the high desert and it definitely was one of the reasons I chose to move to Albuquerque because of the vastness of the desert, but also the exquisite detail and beauty which is everywhere around you because of the dynamic range and elevation from being down in the Rio Grande Valley here in Albuquerque all the way up to the tops of the mountains. 
We experience almost five different life zones all within a day's drive and it affords students the opportunity to explore challenges in different regions that they might face around the country and around the world. But Albuquerque as well is in many ways an undiscovered city and what I love about it so much is that it's so authentic. This is a very different urban fabric. It's kind of like the clear air or the clear space here. There's so much space that people have more autonomy and more capability and we can test out things that don't happen in other more densely already designed places. And I think one of the things about the design world as it moves forward into a 21st century understanding is that we include many, many tools, we include many, many voices, and I think all of that contrives to create a world in which there's a place for anybody to become a landscape architect. It's just going to depend on you exactly what that means. Good design, thoughtful design, educated design, which is what we do, can make a profound difference in this world that we live in that is incredibly, incredibly complex. Join us in making the world more beautiful and sustainable for all inhabitants. Ven a ser parte de un mundo mejor y sostenible para todos los inhabitantes. Hãy cùng chúng tôi phát triển và thiết kế một thế giới bền vững cho cộng đồng. Připojte se k nám, udělat svět lepší pro každého.